All right, this marks, I think, week 78 of the Shogi Teaching Ladder. Not as many participants signed up for this week, so the idea of the Teaching Ladder game is that before, or rather, after the game concludes, uh, players will take some time, talk about the game with each other, and see what we can learn. Interesting. That's my opening. <laughs> All right. I suppose we're going to play third foul rook against this shape. I would call it central foul rook, but uh, there ain't no rook there. Not just yet, anyway. Um... So, yeah, I think in general, third file is strong against central file. I don't know exactly how strong because this doesn't appear in the opening database. But on a hunch, I gotta think this has gotta be decent. Um, I mean, yeah, it looks scary to have this guy so close to my position. Um, hmm. I want to try this. I've never tried playing this way before. So, I mean, yeah, I did briefly look forever ago at what if I push the third foul and they push this all the way through and, like, we end up with the craziest fight ever. I did start looking at those kinds of lines, and those were kind of fun. But um, I think perhaps a better reward for my time would be studying this sort of thing instead. Um, now, I probably should have lifted my rook, because there is one weakness in this shape. Uh, that I need a way to defend against. Actually, there's multiple targets for me to aim at. So maybe I don't need to be so concerned with defense here. Defense is, in general, a good policy. Yeah, so let's pretend that I did this last move. Uh, the point of this is to allow me to cover the bishop's head. Either with the rook or with the silver. Um... Probably with the rook, but I don't know. Oh, wow. Okay, this could be fun. Um, hmm. So, one thought I had is maybe I want to play Anaguma's uh, castle. But that seems a bit unwise, because the rook and bishop could easily target my king. Um, hmm. Hmm. I want to use all of my pieces. Let's see what sh solid shape they create. Okay, uh, that is legal. Um, let's play this in keeping with our weekend lesson. That if they were to try to build Anaguma, we would gain an advantage by pushing this twice. So they're not building Anaguma right now. Um, neither are we. So let's continue building a more and more solid shape. Um, this might be a transposition to Millennium Castle? No, because Millennium has, like, the night out. Yeah, I'm not sure what they're doing. Um. So this is where the king is. If feasible, I would like to attack it doesn't necessarily look easy to attack. Um, 
Yeah, this pressure never hurts and gives me options as to where to move my other pieces. Oh, they are building Anaguma. Much to my surprise. Okay. Um, let's put my rook on an open line. And see how they react to this. I mean, I guess the rook is not the best piece to start an attack with most of the time. So they might not need to react to that. Um, I'm trying to think of how to apply more pressure to their position. So, yeah, this either forces a choice between, like, them defending my rook directly or bringing up this gold to defend this pawn or something that is not building Anaguma Castle. Um, and by Anaguma we mean putting the king in the corner the silver up and the lance in front, and then bringing the golds over to surround the king and form a very strong shape. The weakness of such strength is that the rest of the board, it's a bit difficult for them to coordinate an attack. Um, so yeah, earlier this game, I could have played more ambitiously started some initiative but i failed to do so and now we're just building really strong castles and seeing i don't know what but uh eventually we'll figure something out okay um hmm They have many, well, they have loose pieces. Many is an exaggeration. Um, they have loose pieces. Hmm. I'm going to play a bit aggressively here. The weakness is that the more space I open, the more bishop drops could occur against me. But um, such is a price to pay for having some kind of an attack. Um, so what I envision is applying pressure on the left side of the board, uh, eventually threatening a pawn drop up here at 8-8 or 8-2. Um, so if the silver moves away, I have pawn 8 to threatening the knight. The knight can't move into the center because I have this pawn blocking this pawn, blocking the knight. Okay. Right, so they're building a strong shape. Um... And so far I don't see an obvious way to exploit it. Um, I played this pawn up so their rook doesn't easily promote against me. Um, hmm. All right, we'll just put more pressure on this edge for lack of a direct plan here. Yeah, so now they've supported this point. Uh, 
It's not a bad idea in principle. I don't want to push that right now. I mean, kind of do, but there's drawbacks to it that I don't have a pawn in hand, so counterattacking is hard. Um, I feel like pressing my luck on this. Uh, wow. Okay. Okay, I am curious what they have planned against this. So admittedly I'm blocking the bishop, which feels terrible. Um, right, so against this I still have the pawn drop threat against the knight. Um... So I'm not totally sure what they're doing. I mean, yeah, they've built a very solid shape. Um... Let's unblock my bishop. Okay. So this starts the series of exchanges. Let's play actively. Mm -hmm. Bishop on an active square. We are attacking a rook and a pawn. Okay. Um, I'm a bit confused. So I think I take the rook here. And then... I mean, yes, they're going to get in a counterattack. Um, or I take the pawn, and then the rook moves, and we continue attacking somehow.
that might be the faster answer here. Um, a rook and one gold. How much damage can a rook and one gold do to my position? With my pieces being loose, it could be actually quite bad. Um, yeah, let's try to keep my position intact, shall we? Try not to let a rook fork completely decimate my castle. Okay, let's limit this rook's scope and limit the silver's scope so we have a extreme vanguard pawn here. Worst case, I think I'm losing my knight. Well, I could try to save the knight and they take the lance and God knows what happens next. Uh, So yeah, they have a rook drop. It's a mess. Um, okay. This is more along the line of what I expected to occur. So I can attack here. Well, it's not so clear how. <sighs> um... I think this is sensible. It looks ugly in some way. But uh, this tries to hold my position together. I'm still concerned about a rook drop. I guess on the bright side, yeah, okay. So they're attacking my knight, and they're attacking my gold. And if I try to defend the knight, um, the rook promotes, and it's not a successful defense. Um, if my knight runs, I'm not sure what happens. They'd like to attack the knight from the front. I don't know if they can. Um, also, maybe if I sack the lance, it's okay. They take the lance, my knight moves up. They move the rooks somewhere. I guess they sack it for this gold, and then they take my knight, and they have an attack. I don't know. Yeah, in my mind, this looks playable. Lance be damned. It's difficult to defend the lance anyway. So, oh, I can even push the pawn first and then push the knight. Yeah, there's stuff I can do.
problem with giving them a knight is that knights are scary. Um, but yeah, the other half of why I want to move this silver backward is so maybe it could participate in an attack. Maybe. If we're lucky. Um, also, if they take this, I could have a bishop promotion right away. So, I mean, yes, they can defend the knight. But, um, I have a bishop promotion. Where do I promote it? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think we promote it over here. So, this gives me an attack. Uh, so I need something for them having a really solid castle. And me having a pretty damn solid castle myself, you know. Um, yeah, this is fine. Is it enjoyable? I don't know. Maybe. Um... I think we trapped the rook in again. So this limits the scope of the rook. If they take, this time I have a horse, forking knight, silver, and rook. If they don't take it, I have limited the scope of their rook, so it's not going to destroy me. Um, also, I can start chasing this, although chasing might not be smart here. This move might be hard to see in advance. Uh, but next, I think I'm intending this pawn promotion, but then rook takes and it's not so clear. Ah. Okay, so they proactively limit the scope of my horse. That makes sense. Um, hmm. So I kind of want to push this pawn. Pushing this one seems more effective, but then they can lance drop. Which is a bit problematic. Um, I think this is my best move here. Oh, also my horse is trapped, isn't it? Probably should have noticed that earlier. Um, yes, I'm in trouble. <laughs> well, no. I mean, this is tricky as heck. Um, there's a lot of details here, but one thing I'm concerned mostly about is not exploding my own castle. I think I'm doing okay on protecting my king. Um, there are quite a few different ways I could have, like, 
weakened my own castle accidentally. So I've not done those. So we're doing okay. Um, if this dragon moves, maybe this rook isn't actually my target. Because it's a hard target to pursue. I don't know. I want to pursue it, I just don't know how. Um, might have to do knight takes pawn to save my horse. On the other hand, if I had some awesome sacrifice, wouldn't this be a great time for it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure I want to take this. Yeah, we can't let this dragon sit next to my king. And now my bishop's loose. Oh, I can defend everything. Multiple ways. Um, hmm. Okay. That's a sad defense. So they have pieces, and I have problems. Uh, yeah, that was a bad play on my part. <sighs> there was one tactic I'd not considered. Well, no, this just forces me to do the sacrifice I've been deliberating the entire time anyway. So I guess we'll see that in a moment. Uh, they missed the trick here. Okay. Um, hmm. This is such a mess. Man. I don't think I have mate. That was not an easy decision. <laughs> uh, so it was between that and various more forceful options. Um, hmm. YOLO, here we go. You want an attack? I'll attack. <laughs> Am I going to win? I don't know. Um, perhaps not. Am I going to go down fighting? Hell yes. <laughs> so, yeah. It 
If they move this knight, my attack gets stronger. If they don't move it, my attack probably still gets stronger anyway. So, yeah. But you can bet I'm looking at, like, every sacrifice around here, but also this promotion. Also, I'm trying to bear my own king's safety in mind while coordinating the attack. This is what makes shogi exciting, uh, for spectators anyway. Like, if they could somehow make chess this kind of crazy attack every single game, or even many games, I think people would return to watching chess on, like, TV and radio and stuff much more than they've been doing recently, so. Okay. Um. Check. Takes, takes, takes. Okay, it's not an immediate mate. Um, well, hang on. Hang the heck on. Um, no, okay. I'm one piece away from... Just like an absolutely devastating attack. We're gonna take our chances here. This looks strong. So this is forced. And then I take here, they take back, and I drop. I could drop right now, too. Um, hmm. A drop could be met with a drop. Interesting. I hadn't thought about it that way. This is what I've been looking at. I had a good feeling about it. Or we look at it, good feelings are going away. Problems are surfacing. Um, we are playing with more fire than I had intended to play with.
think this is the way forward. There are just so many different ways we could both attack and we could both defend here. And of course, I pick the most dangerous one. Um... But yeah, I'm playing quickly out of extreme confidence, to be honest. My attack is strong here. And I don't see their attack. So that's what that's this is about. Is that I've built a castle, they built a really nice castle, and I sacked the house to break it. And the question is whether the house falls on my head and eats me alive. Um, so... It's possible <laughs> I could have done something very bad here with that awesome looking sacrifice. Just because something looks awesome doesn't mean it is awesome. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, see, what I'd intended is that this rook would just move away. And once it moved away, my attack would be so much easier. It's not moved away. So, yeah. I have to take here. Okay, what's this? Seriously? I don't understand this. I mean, I should be terrified because I didn't foresee this. And they do have a gold in hand. So this could be quite the disaster. Especially if they had another lance. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh. Okay. So if I block at the wrong piece, I probably made it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> um, oh, wait. That's a tempo. They gave me a tempo here? That's wild. Uh, I did not expect that. They don't have a knight. It's 
since they don't have a knight, I need to defend against them dropping right on my king's head. And they can't knight drop me to further break in. Um, if they drop on the lance's head, I drop next to their king. If they drop a bishop, I think any block is sufficient in that case. I think. I'm sorry, any drop block is sufficient. If I push the pawn, they sack. I could run. I No, I made it. Yeah, so let's not do that. Um, hmm. Interesting. I wonder if night drop gets me mated. No, I'm safe here, as Thank best you, as I can discern. Extra time's not going to help me de-stress. I need to play at a calm pace, and not panic. That's a mouse slip. I apologize, but I'm playing to win this. I'm still searching for mate. Earlier I was a bit distressed because finding mate... Oh, okay, well now I have everything I need to mate. Earlier it was a bit distressing because it was not clear whether or not there would be a mate. Here there must be one. Um, hmm... Oh, I misread something. Oh, that's discouraging. I wonder, yeah, no, my lance threat is strong. Um, hmm. Oh, I see. This silver is a defensive play. I missed that aspect to it. I think this is accurate. It's a bit hard to read. Um,
30秒。I hope I've read all these tiny little variations correctly. I'm trying, but also, like, boy, is it stressful to think. I just want the game to end, but I want to win, too. Um... The number of ways I can misread this just continues to impress me. There's a lot of ways I can misread this. I think this is correct. Bishop drop, check. Yeah. There's the mate. There were variations here. This is not easy. Uh, yeah, I was considering taking the silver, too. Um, but this is adequate. Thanks for the game. Whew, that was intense. I hope we all enjoyed that. That was awesome. Wow. All right. Yeah. It's okay. Um Yeah. That was amazing. So I guess let's start the analysis from the beginning. Yeah. Um. Oh, cool. Nice. So, yeah. <laughs> uh. So yeah, this is a tricky one. Let's see. I don't know. Some people do like... Uh... Okay, yeah, we'll just do that chat through 81 Dojo like most folks do. Um... Um... <laughs> <laughs> So, um, I think that this goes something like this, um, uh, oh wait, no, that's not right. Um, I think it's something like that, yeah. So, yeah, it's a bit tricky 
to play Central Fall Rook. Um, so it's, I mean, this might be the way to go. Yeah, welcome Gaston. Yeah, we're just reviewing our teaching ladder game that we just played, uh, which was pretty damn sharp, even for us. Um, <laughs> um, so, I wonder... Uh, so what about this? After they play rook 5 4. So, yeah, probably my move order is wrong. So, probably I need to do this first. <laughs> yeah, so. Um, yeah, we both castle. That's all fine. <laughs> yeah. This was a bit exciting. Uh It's not super easy for me to attack. Um Yeah. Ah. So, yeah. I'm not totally sure how I attack this thing. Um. Hmm. Left Anaguma. So, uh. Uh, so in general, I think this is what I'm supposed to pursue, but, um, yeah. I don't really know how best to do this. So, um, you're wanting to defend this, uh, So I hit it directly. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, whether or not this indicates something being off, or this is just different. Um, oh! Yeah. That might be the subtle difference here. Although... Let's see. I mean, I still have time for this. Hmm. How far back do I have to go for this timing to not be possible? Um, probably this move order? Actually, hang on. Probably do this first. 
Yeah. I'm guessing the move order is probably something more like this. Um... <laughs> it's funny. Um... Uh... <laughs> yeah, I don't really know. It seems like uh, this might be doable, but yeah, tricky stuff. So I was able to attack this directly. Um, and this is just a hard point to defend. I didn't know whether this is good or bad. Um, yeah, this is interesting too, isn't it? Um, hmm. Hmm. I guess maybe something like this might happen. I don't know. Looks too tricky. Um, so we ended up wherever we ended up through this weird move order. Um, Yeah, probably these guys should be involved in the attack somehow. I don't know. Um, so... This is just a really weird game. Um, so, unfortunately, my third foul pawn blocks my bishop from advancing an easier way. Oh! Yeah, so, yeah, if I went back and tried to play a more Ishida shape, but I want the rook on the left side or the right side of the board? I don't know. Um, because this rook in the center really blocks my rook. So maybe just this directly. Of 10 to force a bishop trade, then okay, yeah. Yeah, the bishop trade could get quite ugly for me. That's definitely true. Four piece Mino. I've heard of Diamond Mino. Uh, I could look into four piece Mino. That could be interesting. I'm sure also, like, when we do load this game into an engine, it'll throw out some random suggestions, which may or may not be right for human play. Um, 
And then we could take this also to the Sunday Shogi and get some ideas there too. Okay. He's correct that like my rook by itself is not going to do a whole ton. They do have a solid shape, even if I cost them quite a bit of inconvenience getting here. And this is a easier to snipe at shape, but not by much. Um, Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the upside is if you do find an attack, um, I just can't defend against it. So it's critically important that you find an attack. And it's critically important for me that I not, like, give up my king. And so, it's a tough one. Yeah. Yeah, it, this is looking really touch and go for me for quite a bit. Um, yep, yep, yep. So I messed up and had allowed this, and yeah. <laughs> I need to keep this line blocked, so... Um, yes, yeah, so that's uh, what caused me to do what I did here. Um, hmm. So after this... Um, this looked like a mess and a half. Something like that. I don't know. This looks extremely messy. Um, I've got a rook, though. It's got to count for something. Um... Oh, actually, hang on. Not that drop. You'd have to, like, attack this here. Yeah. Um, still, it's not super clear to me, uh, like, how this plays out. Hmm. So, if my gold runs away... Hmm. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, hmm. I guess maybe I survive and win. It looks scary, but 
I think it's fine. Yeah. I'm surprised there's not other tactics in this position to like further complicate it. But yeah, I should have gone for this, I guess. Hmm. Mm. Um, so yeah, this uh, shuts down the file. Um, yeah, it's just kind of amazing how strong this drop is. And I don't understand how, like, this could possibly be as strong as it looks uh, if I'd taken the pawn. Silver trade had I taken the pawn. Uh, I'm trying to think through this through. I missed something here. Oh, sorry, I should give them the hat. Yeah. They were concerned about a silver trade. Well, uh... So with a castle so strong, I don't know that they need to be super afraid of a silver exchange. Um, so even if things came to this, I think they're fine, but yeah, <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, even if this... Uh, Like, I don't know. Seems there's a lot they can do in this position to make things exciting. Um, let me just take here. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I might need about two more. Um, so So here, um, so yeah, their king is one square further. Uh, uh, so that slows my attack considerably. That's basically what it comes down to. Um, so, and I mean, I'm sure there's other ways to attack there too. Okay, so I'm back to being host. Um, so yeah, this... Uh, Um, 
don't really know how I messed this up, but, um, yeah, I couldn't find something compelling here. And this is wrong. So I'm not sure what to do. Yeah, they have an attack across my back rank. They have an attack down the center file, which I'm no longer able to block because they just took the only pawn I had blocking this. Um, um, hmm. Interesting. I guess that makes sense. So my sacrifice is just simply unsound. Damn, that's amazing. Hmm. I did not expect uh, the fight to be that one-sided, but during the game, it really was a one-sided fight. Um, yeah. So, they booked up properly for this. Um, Yep, yep, yep. <sighs> that was a bit discouraging that I missed that. Um... Wait, is that how you play it? Or I forget what else I'd looked at here, but... Um... Somehow what I looked at didn't... I didn't like what I found. Um, should have been more careful with the nine nine dragon. Why did I think this is so strong? What am I forgetting? Oh, this thing. Yeah, so this covers uh, the horse. Um, this allows this drop next, which uh, ends my attack in a very painful way. Uh, okay, yeah, I guess you're right, I can run away. Still, wow, okay. So maybe I'm hanging in there, just barely, but it sucks, but maybe I'm hanging in there. Um...
Yeah. Forgot about this guy. That's defended. Maybe I survived that. That's a really resourceful play here. Um, hmm. Hmm. Even my fork threat's maybe not convincing here. Even though that was, like, my real threat. Yeah. I say I don't like this, but I sacrifice a lot, let's be real. But I don't enjoy it. I enjoy having the material and then accidentally getting made it later. That's how things tend to go. Uh, so yeah. But instead I play this. Um... <laughs> uh... It's super unclear just how dead I am here. Um... It's not at all clear whether I survive this. Yeah. Well, um... don't know how to play this. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is hard. Oh wait, maybe this is fine um, if they find this. Okay, uh, yeah, we could take a look at that. Is this the idea? Yeah, uh... So, I'm not sure how to meet this drop. So, like, everything's hanging. Um, I do have a rook, though, so that's kind of nice. But, okay, yeah, if I take this, they recapture. 
I can promote, but such promotion blocks my pawn. Um, they have a gold and a bishop to attack with. I guess it is not super easy for them to attack, is it? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I might have opportunities. Um... I don't like my position, but yeah, this is what I would have needed to play uh, if we got here. But yeah, I think he's got the better side of this. Um, oh. Yeah, it's difficult to both break this castle and um, stop their attack. Yeah. Well, okay, I guess that's an idea. That is a path forward. Um. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess I don't see any immediate mate against my king. So, yeah, I guess you're right. This is... Uh, there are chances for both sides, even if I like their side a bit better. Um, oh, this rook move. Um, what was I looking at at this point in the game? Other than just, in a very abstract sense, trying to not lose everything. Um, I kept imagining they had a rook in hand, and they don't. Well, this. Yeah, this is cool. Um... So, here, I think... This would have been extremely painful. I don't know how I would have responded. I can't Nifu here, so... <sighs> this would have been tough. Um, I guess I have to sack. And... I don't know. So this has threats. <sighs> but yeah, I would have had to do something crazy there. Um, maybe, well, I can't sack my rook. My king's too vulnerable. Uh, instead, we get an, an initiative here. They block both of my bishops with one knight drop, which is very clever and good. Um, I'm not sure about this here. So, I mean, I could move the silver out of harm's way. Kept imagining that somehow things would be different. I, again, I kept imagining they had a rook in hand, but they don't have a rook in hand anymore. 
Um, right, so I've got to like drop back against that. Um, yeah, I guess this. I just have to keep running. Let me promote. Um, hmm. I mean, we guess we keep running. Okay, and that's a fork. Could have led with that. But no, this is uh that's a good point. Um hmm. Yeah. Yes, even though the gold is worth so, so much in Anaguma Castle, the threat to it promote the Rook is also very strong. So, yeah. Yeah, so. Um, so they take here... It's hard to criticize that. Is there something clearer or better somehow? I mean, what could even be better than this? I don't know. I guess this maybe. Hmm. Maybe I pulled a fast one here. Maybe I pulled a fast one here. I'm not sure. Um, If this knight has to move, then this looks rough. Um, I guess, yeah, actually their attack is quite strong here. <laughs> So, yeah, even here where I thought that like this would be fine for me, it's just not. Um, Likely I made it here somehow. Um, I mean, the night supports a nice attack. Yeah. So, this is like my dream 
situation. Well, actually, I don't take the rook here. I, I try to mate, but still. Um, yeah, this king survives. <laughs> so we get something wild like this here. Um. Uh, so that happens too. So I have to take the rook. Um, but even after I take this rook, like, yeah, I wonder what the easiest, well, it looks like such a strong attack. This, maybe it's easy to read and I'm just missing something. That's very possible. Um, yeah, maybe this here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have no way to continue supporting this. Um, so, interesting. Um, so I can't just sack the house on this. Even knight takes silver is playable here. I don't know, like, what would possess you to do it, other than if there's no other way forward, then do it. But there's got to be something stronger here. Um... Oops, this was not the game position. Um, thought I had made here, so... Um, yeah, I'm not sure how I came to that conclusion. I don't know. But yeah, if I take this rook, um, I mean, this has still got to be winning. There's just nothing here. Because this... Oh, you don't have a knight. Um, hmm. Hang 
on. So... There's still got to be some way to defend this. So, uh, so I can continue attacking like this, but it doesn't last. Um, oh, actually this is straightforward, isn't it? So, yeah, there's just no defending this. Um, exchanging silvers just speeds up this part of the attack. So I can't do this silver drop, so I'd instead have to, like, drop back here or something. Um... So, um, uh, let's see, the idea is to try to take here. Yeah, running the king makes sense. Um... Didn't see a way to continue for me here. Uh, this threatens the same bishop drop, mate. Um. Uh. Oh, hey, welcome. So, yeah, the idea of this bishop drop, lance drop, etc. is just unstoppable here. Um... Yeah, that's fine. Um, so, what was it? This promotion? Uh, this is awesome. This is a very good move. 
Um, That's just how I handled this particular position. That, like, I was pretty sure I was dead, so I didn't worry too much about it. Um, but, yeah, as we got later in the endgame, I thought I might win this, and um, I slowed down to find some tricks. <laughs> or try to find some attacking ideas. Uh, yeah... Yeah. Um oh wait, so back here. So um what was it that I was looking at? What was it that I was looking at? Is it a silver drop? My king steps out. Wait, no, not that. Um... So unless I have checkmate here, um, I am brinkmated. So I don't know what I can do. It looks very difficult for me to continue an attack here. Um, hmm. I mean, maybe I have a checkmate? But I severely doubt it. Um, My uh, my general reaction to this is that like I don't see any way to attack here, and I see myself getting mated. Um, I mean, this looks really bad. This looks really, really bad. Yeah, I don't see, like, where would I even start my attack here? I guess I have to start with the rook. But now what? Um, like, this position looks extremely rough. I don't see a next move here. Uh... Okay, this defense. Um, hmm. 
Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's quite the fork. That crushes all of one's hopes and dreams in on the same move. Uh, yeah. Um, guess I have to do something like this, but yeah, this looks bad, but there's probably also like mate here. Um, does this mate? I wonder. Oh wait, I can't take back. Um, all right, this recapture. I thought my king was too exposed here. Um, I guess you just take it. And I like this threat, it's just fatal. Yeah, this looks uh, fatal. Yeah, so... Um, so there, this knight drop doesn't defend. So I'd have to try this. Um, hmm... This is tricky. Hmm. I guess this is dangerous. Um... Hmm. I mean, to me, this looked like it was super safe, but I don't know. Hmm, this is tricky. I thought this would just be a simple, uh, I thought there'd be some defense here. Um, Um, so, I don't see a way to continue the attack. And so, yeah, there's just too many mate threats against, uh, Santa's King. So they have to back up even further and find some other move here. I guess like this. 
Um, hmm. Yeah, this got trickier than I expected. This got trickier than I expected. Uh... So, hmm. <sighs> My advice about uh, just taking that. So maybe you have to throw this in first. Yeah, so this is... Um... Just don't know what to do against this. Is there not a mate? There's not an immediate mate there. Um... Hmm. Maybe this just as like not smart uh that is so crazy
Oh, this is such a... Yeah, so um, incredibly this gold drop doesn't get me killed. Uh... Um, so, yeah, what was it about the silver drop that, um, why did I think I needed something else? Oh, right. Um, so, like, this sort of thing. Um. This is all playable. Um, hmm. It's a lot to find, especially if you've never been checkmated by it before. Um, That's fair. Yeah, I needed it. Yeah. So maybe this is fine? Hmm. I don't know. So, um, yeah, in general, yeah, I guess you're right that, um, uh, and I guess then this is possible next. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's an unfortunate mouse slip. Um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> It's rough. I don't know that there would have been any uh, better way to do it. Um, uh, hmm. 
<laughs> uh, you don't think chess or shogi's harder than chess, just funnier. Yeah. Yeah, shogi, uh, you get these wild attacking positions. Yeah. <laughs> Get these extremely wild attacking positions that, like, who could have anticipated it? But this is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, who could have anticipated the, uh, even though our teaching ladder games usually get to these kinds of crazy, uh, mutual attack positions. Who could have expected it to get, like, this wild? I don't know. Um, so, yeah, this was my attacking concept for the last part of the game, ever since I sacked the rook. And then miraculously got the rook back. Um, yeah, this it was what I had to aim for. Um, I'm still not totally sure at what point um, this becomes decisive in my favor, short of the actual mate appearing on the board. Like, around here, I think I'm still lost. I think you could even get away with this defense. I don't know. Um, every time you play a piece to defend, it... Uh, that's a piece that you could have used for your attack. So, like, defense might not be the right idea here. You might need to checkmate. But yeah, this rook takes pawn. I think threw away the last remaining chance. And that, like, if this had been played... Yeah, I think he's, uh, Synchro is correct that because of this bishop threat, I would have been forced to block this rook somehow. And I don't have any pawns to block with, and I need the lance to hit this point. My knight can't hit the king because all these pawns are beautifully placed. I might need the knight later to checkmate anyway. It's it's really hard to say. But yeah, I might need to block with the lance, like he indicated. Um, and you can still do this. And yeah. Um, I don't know how I would continue here. I mean, no, I think there's... I can't use the lance there. I need to use the knight. And, yeah, I think he's right, though, that, like, I had anticipated this work going up here, but there might have been ways to block it. But in this case, yeah, maybe my attack works. But if I drop a lance here... I think they're out of pieces to harass this gold with. And suddenly things slow back down again. And they can just checkmate me at their leisure, I think. But maybe they have some faster mate. Maybe, um, maybe like a bishop drop similar to the game might have worked here. Um, but it, yeah, because if they try to defend... Oh, that's what I was imagining, is that this dragon was already here. That's right. I'd seen this kind of thing during the game, and I imagined this dragon was already present in that silver sack line. Instead of this here, where, yes, we actually have a dragon present, and, like, it supports this mating idea. So... Okay, that was what I got confused about. So this is a de this is a very good rook retreat. Um, oh right, I was gonna suggest I need a bishop fork to like win the rook, but such is not possible. So I just lose uh, because this mates. Is there some other way to draw out the king to mate it um, after this? Maybe. Oh wait, so yeah, I would need to block with another piece here. Um, that's sad. So, wait, I'm blocking the file with the lance proactively because I anticipate needing it for the attack. I guess I can't do this defense. I need to attack instead. 
So I need to like do something crazy like this. And my attack ends because I'm out of pieces. Um, I mean, at this point, um, is silver takes pawn even viable as an idea? Or is it just outright refuted somehow? I think the problem here... Okay, yeah, if I'm planning to recapture there, uh, I don't have time for this. There's simply... Like, if this is the plan, this is a bad plan for a multitude of reasons. Or at least one reason. Um... So first of all, they could play this. Um, hmm, that might not be right. I don't know. There's a lot of ideas, a lot of chances here. But I think... So in this variation, I've not given... Or they've played a gold in defense. If they played something else in defense, maybe they have a mate. I don't know. I'm trying to read it. It's not easy to read. Oh, so, um, yeah, the king and the rook are not subject to a fork. So maybe there's some merit to this. Um, oh, there's this too. <laughs> yeah, so if they don't block, um, my attack runs out. Trivially. That's kind of interesting. I hadn't thought about it that way. But yeah, I need more pieces to attack than what I have attacking. So my concept's just not a great concept. Um So anyway, yeah, if this knight's dropped way back here, that's a problem. Um I need the gold to mate. I might not need the lance. Maybe Synchro's right. And then we drop back here. This seems to cover everything and also threaten mate. So... Um, yeah, if I do this, supposing we even go here, even this just ends the attack cold. So... Yeah, getting this lance stuck back here would have sucked. Maybe against this, I have to do something crazy like that. Um, try to lure the dragon. Well, if I'm... This does nothing to stop the dragon. Um, so if I'm that convinced that I need all my pieces to attack, then I have to start with the rook. And if I have to start with the Rook, um, I mean, one option would be blocking. We kind of looked at that. This also looks quite robust. Um, the idea here, like, first of all, if they do, if I do this, my knight's hanging and my attack ends. So that's not a great idea. Uh, secondly, if I try something similar to the game, there's this sack. And then, yeah, this has to mate, right? Uh, but we'll drop, king takes, dragon takes knight, gold drop, silver. If the king goes out, then gold on the head mate. If the king goes over, then gold drop mates. So, yeah, this is more than adequate to the task if I do a lance drop there. So if I'm still of the opinion that I need all my pieces to attack, then, yeah, I just, there is no attack. This attack does not exist here. I mean, I might have to, like, defend this gold. Um, and, huh, I thought there would be a clear-cut mate, but maybe not. 
So anyway, this is like very, very, very difficult for me to find a good defensive idea or try here. If this were a horse that, well, no, the gold and the silver protect each other. They do make a wall. Um, the problem is this wall is going to like box the king in. So I was convinced I was mated. Maybe it's not so crystal clear. Maybe. Um, yeah, so. I mean, I was thinking about something like this, and then sacking there and hoping for the best. I wanted to bring the bit, uh, silver in with gain of tempo, but I never, gained, never got my extra tempo. Uh, the reason I never... Wait... How did I not get the extra tempo here? So I did this. Then I attacked the rook again. Oh, and that, that helped me get the rook. Um. Oh, hang on. So, I think I found what's confused me this the most about this. We started this with this sacrifice. So we sacrificed a rook, and now we're sacrificing a lance. And this king's not invincible. So, as a practical consideration, maybe don't sacrifice the lance first. Um, maybe see if there are other options, such as... You know, activating the dragon. So that would have been an idea. Um, or if you don't like that idea, like, do the same bishop drop and see if I've got mate or not. Um, actually, we know that I don't have mate because this is still here. I have, like, a brink mate, but. Uh, let's just checkmate. So, yeah, the lance sack was unnecessary, unfortunately. Um, I guess the one fortunate aspect of them, uh, sacking. Let's see, they sacked a rook? How did this all go down? Like, what happened? First, they sacked a rook. Then they sacked a lance. Then they gobbled the pawn and sacked accidentally this bishop. So this bishop's like the third piece that they lost in the span of nine moves here. And uh, at this point, like, finally fate starts to smile on me. Um, yes, so they walked into a checkmate. It was not an easy mate, but still... Uh, at this point, there might have been defensive tries, something around, like, defending the pawn, trying to stop a rook drop that decimates them. Or, somehow, like, smashing my castle further. It doesn't look easy at this point, though. Um, so I found this Lance Sacrifice. I think I have mate in all these lines. Um, this pawn drop felt clever. Um, what confused me is about this. Is that equivalent to what happened in the game? No, in the game they did silver takes. I guess it's equivalent, because, yeah, silver takes doesn't do anything to box or to unbox the king. So this pawn drop was unnecessary? So I would have had the same mate, and I just like done this one move earlier. Uh, okay, yes, that's right. I had that. Okay. So this drop, um, yeah, rather the silver drop walks into mate by the rook. So that's not the correct answer here then. If there is a correct answer, it's got to be something else. Like, you could try this to try to hold it together. And, like, this 
it's amazing even after hanging three pieces they have some chances to hold things together because um their castle was a lot more solid than mine to begin with um but yeah three piece sacrifices later yeah the tables turned a bit and um yeah, maybe I do have a forced mate here regardless. I don't know. Uh, they have only a silver left to attack with, so that looks pretty desperate. But yeah. Let's suppose they didn't sack the bishop accidentally. Let's suppose they did just inserted this move instead. Do I have mate anyway? Without the bishop? Um... So if we have this, and supposing I do the same thing I did in the game, this is what I was kind of reading out. Um, so I was seeing, like, they have, since I broke their castle, now they've got a lance to attack me with, and then their bishop can take, and I'm in a world of pain here. But before that, we have this drop. And they can go here. And this is what I was confused about. So the king runs this way. Um, then that's check. And goes this way. And that's, that's not mate, though. Uh, do I have mate? Um, hmm. Is there a mate? I don't know. Also, what if they just do... Oh, right. Wait a second. So, against this pawn drop, what if they take it? Similar to the game. Maybe this pawn drop is just gratuitous. Doesn't seem to change anything in my favor. So if I take in here, the thought with the pawn drop is that it would... Yeah, but the king's going here anyway. But now I can't drop a gold right there on 2-3. That's the difference. That's the unavailability of a 2-3 gold drop. Yeah, so the pawn drop in this line makes sense. Um, even if it doesn't mate, it's the best try. But if I need that to support the gold drop, then this might hold. Um, they have to take. Wait a second. If I back up a bit against this check, I keep forgetting this might be available. Um, but in this case, the sack seems to work. Yeah, so that actually mates here. So they do, in fact, need to block. And then the sack. Now, I wonder, they don't necessarily need a gold to block here. What if they had put the gold here first and ended up with a silver back there? Um, this pawn drop happens. King back. Takes, takes. Okay, a silver or a gold in hand. So whatever it is, that piece would go here on 2-3. Um, yeah, so things being what they are, it would make more sense to lead with the gold. Um, but, like, this drop seems unnecessary, doesn't it? Yeah, so, I think this actually is required here for exigent circumstances. And, yeah, this... Wait, is there another sack? There can't possibly be another one. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't know. There's too much to read. Maybe this. It's hard to say. Sometimes we have to leave... We amateurs, as a practical matter, might have to leave certain positions for the engine to figure out. Because endgames are quite exciting and beautiful, but this one might be above my level right now. Um... I mean, I get as a general concept, I like this idea, I like Rick Takes There as a general idea. I don't know whether or not it actually works as a tactic. It's like here, trying to attack the silver knight and bishop indirectly might... Oh, hang on. In this case, no, I don't know. It's either Rook 4 1 or Rook 5 1. Pick your poison. Um, it might not matter. It might matter tremendously, too. That's the thing. It might not matter, or it might make all the difference in the universe. So, my guess is this one. I don't know for sure. But yeah, I think they might have had to defend a bit. Um, I thought I was super ultra mega dead, even after the first 2p sacrifices, but turns out maybe things aren't quite so clear here. The only reason I'm continuing to beat the dead horse is because I'd like to find, after such a bishop drop, or any kind of an attacking move, um, yeah, so... Um, yeah, maybe promoting the rook down here first was critical. It seems unlikely, but maybe that was the case. This knight is beautifully placed. It's just in time, the right piece at the right time here. Uh, both to attack and to block this bishop check. So, yeah, I... It's just amazing to me that my king survives this. And not only that, but like these two pieces, uh, combined with these supporting pieces, are exactly enough to mate. It's kind of wild. Um, yeah. I'm still struggling to accept it. Hmm. Maybe we do need to run an engine over this and see what it says, because I'm just not uh, not thrilled with this being unresolved. Um, is there a better solution? So, like, one, I suggested this rook uh, threatens to get the one space gap dragon, threatens a variety of other things. Uh, so, that could force the king out here, and then gold on the head would mate. Uh, so, yeah, this might have been... It's it's incredible. If this was decided by just a single move, then, yeah, that might have been the case here. Uh, also, yeah, I'm curious if my lance drop seems unwise. But... Maybe it was best. Because I was afraid of all these attacks they might have, but like, apparently in the end, through all those variations we looked at, um, there wasn't exactly a mate there. So, the lance drop might not... Wait, I was trying to refute other lines and argue the lance drop was necessary, but I think... Through all the lines we've looked at, um, yeah, this position just is actually decent for Senta, despite all appearances. I'm still trying to figure out if the Lance Drop was the best move or not, but um, I don't know. This Bishop Drop felt like it's a good feeling of a move, but... Um, yeah, I think 
stronger might have been just the direct threat protecting against the rook drop hitting the lance um and then also hitting this and i mean the the way Santa could continue here would be doubling down on this uh, lance takes and rook takes knight threat. Um, and against that, I would wonder that surely this must win for Gota because we have a dragon right there. So... Oh yeah, they're taking a lance, and lance is just like the perfect piece to finish me off here. Pretty sure. Let's say I'm greedy and I grab this material. Um, then we sack the dragon. And that's mate. So, uh, if we don't accept the dragon sack, then that's mate. Gold takes, uh, dragon takes. So, yeah, that's... That's such a wild... Such a dynamic position. But yeah, the bishop would be immune here. And if I need that lance to participate in this attack, and I don't have a lance... Um, at this point, I'm just hoping I slow down their attack by enough that like somehow this mates. But I don't believe it at all. Um, yeah, it's unfortunate because, like, well, yeah, I don't know. There's not a need to take this. Taking this doesn't actually accelerate Gota's attack any. Well, the only way it would accelerate their attack is if that taken piece somehow participates in this attack. Um, I think it could. It's not participating right now. So this could block a knight drop on 2-5. And... Yeah, that... Well, yeah, there's... Senta doesn't have a mate threat. It looks like they do, but they don't. So that's what it comes down to. So you could even take this, um, and there's just no response here. So, yeah. I guess what, what just astounded me is, like, Gota had sacrificed two pieces, intentionally or otherwise, against my massive sacrifice that must have had, like, some psychological effect. Um, and note also, like, they moved the rook once... And then they place this rook down here. Um, so see how I'm like my silver controls these squares, and I was able to use the token to get a tempo on the rook. And then let's go back to the game. You see how um, here this supports the bishop. So. Had they wanted to sack the rook, uh, they're sacking more than just two pieces here. They're also sacking a valuable tempo. Like, contrast all that with, um, say they did the same attack in some other move order. Something like that, I don't know. And I block. I can't even block here. Oh! That's the other thing. Oh goodness, I forgot to mention this to him. But yeah, this pawn placement was very aggressive. So, uh, yeah, this would have been rough. If I need both golds to mate, and in the main game line I did, then the only way I can move forward here is to sack like this. Um, or rather, to, like, collapse my own castle just so I can continue attacking. But also like here, this if I had taken on 6-1 after they do whatever it is they do next, um yeah, in this case, uh 
all my attacks to be one move slower because I would not have like that bishop drop check in all these lines. So there's just a lot to think about here. So like if they deliberately sack this, they're probably fine. It's just like this perfect storm of everything that went wrong at once. Um, where I just don't have a good way to defend this without giving up my attack completely. And yeah, I, yeah, so it's just, I was so astounded, um, that, um, yes, yeah, so they sacked the Rook and a Tempo and a Lance. And, yeah, after these multiple sacks, um, I mean, I sacked a lot of material to try to open this king. A lot of, a lot of material. I took, I exchanged my rook and bishop and bishop for three generals. So that's an enormous material loss. Um, so, yeah, I... Even gaining one of the rooks back, I'm still heavily down. Um, so I was amazed that my position had chances, despite being down so, 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 so much in material. Um, note also, if they didn't want to sack the rook, like, this is an option. <laughs> so, I mean, there's that. Um... Yeah, I guess this, I was going to suggest this might move further up the board too, but there are risks involved with that too. But yeah, probably the strongest sequence if you're going to do something like that is put the rook down here first. Wait for me to block this somehow because I can't do a pawn drop to block it. And then, like, move the rook somewhere, I guess. Um, if you're moving it, you might just checkmate me instead because there's a good chance I'm dead here. Um, yeah. During the game, I was afraid of this. Takes, takes, takes. And now I have to drop another general to defend this. Uh, so I didn't want to do that. So against this bishop drop threat, I didn't know what I had planned here. Um... Other than duck and cover. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't have the material to mate that I thought I had. So uh, it's a cautionary tale about sacking too much material. You're not always going to get it back. Um, or if you do get it back, you might not get it the way you hoped for. A very interesting game. Uh, yeah, thanks, Synchro, for this game on our teaching ladder. And, yeah, hopefully look forward to more uh, weekend games, more teaching ladder games. Uh, Synchro, I believe, has his final World Shogi League game tomorrow, so we'll look forward to seeing that as well. Hope we've enjoyed this uh, game and analysis and haven't beat this dead horse uh, too much. Yeah, thanks for watching.